good morning my dear students welcome to today's science class so in the last class we started the revision of chapter 2 and we discussed about human digestive system and today we are going to discuss about the digestion of uh, food in ruminating animals uh, but before we discuss about ruminating animals let's discuss the key points once again about the human digestive system so first of all what is digestive system the alimentary canal and digestive glands together form a system in the human body which is responsible for the digestion of food in the body this system is called the digestive system so this is the system in which uh, alimentary canal along with digestive glands they form they work together to digest the food and this <coughs> a uh, system is called what digestive system now there are certain organs which are not part of alimentary canal which you have to remember uh, glands such as liver and pancreas so they are not part of your alimentary canal uh, when we say alimentary canal it is the pathway of the food the tract through which the food moves so the food does not enter into the liver so remember uh, students liver and pancreas they are not part of the digestive tract so the digestion of food begins with the mouth itself once the food enters into the mouth the food mixes with the saliva with the help of tongue and first of all it is uh, being chewed in order to break the bigger pieces into small the smaller pieces so that it becomes easier to mix with the saliva and also to pass through the food pipe so the salivary glands present in our, in our mouth secrete saliva which mixes the food and then it can it also converts the starch present into sugar so there is a enzyme known as amylase which is present in the saliva and that helps to convert the starch into sugar so uh, that is why when we sometimes eat uh, food like bread after some time we feel we get that uh, sweetness because the starch gets converted into sugar now the tongue present in the mouth helps in mixing the food with saliva and helps it help in swallowing it inside the mouth so we know what is the role of tongue here tongue helps to mix the food with the uh, with the saliva and also it helps to swallow the food inside the food pipe through the mouth then uh, next is food pipe so once the food is swallowed into the food pipe it is taken uh, to the stomach and once it reaches the stomach the digestive juices present in the stomach start acting uh, on the food and the food is thoroughly churned so here is the stomach so stomach the starting part is connected to esophagus you can see in the diagram we have already discussed though this is the esophagus which is connected to stomach so this food pipe comes and enters into the stomach and then uh, once the food is digested partially in the stomach it is further taken to the small intestine and this uh, beginning of small intestine is what your duodenum so the stomach is connected uh, with the food pipe and the small intestine so you can see here nicely it is connected to both food pipe and the small intestine the upper part is connected to esophagus and the lower part is connected to the the lower part is connected to the uh, small intestine and next when the food is partially digested it is sent to the small intestine now in the stomach there are certain juices present which help which helps to digest the food now mucose hydrochloric acid and digestive juices these are the juices which are present in the stomach which help to digest uh, certain nutrients present in the food now hydrochloric acid it kills the bacteria present inside the stomach and activates the digestive juices they help in digestion of food by breaking down the proteins present in the food into simple substances so digestive juices they help the food to break down uh, they actually act on the proteins and they convert the protein into its simpler form a simpler form of protein is what amino acid uh, which is being converted in the small intestine here uh, it is converted into the polypeptides or intermediate states states uh, from which it is further uh, broken down and converted into amino acids then we have 
small intestine so it is the longest part of the alimentary canal uh, whose length is around 7.5 meters and it has got mainly three parts which are duodenum jejunum and ileum so we have already discussed this in the last class so we are not going to discuss again uh, in detail about this so just try to remember the important key points here then what are the functions functions uh, are to digest the food completely and the second function is to absorb the uh, nutrients from the digested food then pancreas uh, it also produces some pancreatic juices which helps to break down fat fats into fatty acids and glycerol so the intestinal juice secreted by walls of the small intestine breaks down starch and carbohydrates into simple sugars so these sugars are known as glucose so it also converts the proteins into amino acids so here uh, like i said the complete conversion of protein into its, its simplest form is done in a small intestine so here the pancreatic juice in the small intestine helps to convert the protein into amino acid so all these simple broken down forms are called a digested food so this is uh, now the food is completely digested here and once it is digested it is being absorbed so absorption of digested food the food that is digested is absorbed with the blood vessels in the walls of the intestine so there are finger like projections present in this uh, in, the, in the walls of the small intestine that helps to absorb the nutrients from the digested food and these finger like projections are called villi so there are number um, of villi present in the inner walls of the small intestine and it increases its surface area to in order to have greater absorption of the digested food so it can uh, adjust itself in such a way that it can increase the surface area to absorb maximum uh, from the digested food so then once it is absorbed by the villi the, then the blood vessels connected to the villi takes the uh, this digested this uh, absorbed nutrients to different parts of the body where they are further uh, used by the cells so the undigested food now and un unabsorbed food now moves into the large intestine from the small intestine and in the large intestine uh, the salt and mineral is further absorbed from the undigested food and the remaining semi solid waste is then uh, passed into the rectum from where it is removed through anus from time to time so this is called ejection so removing of this waste from anus from time to time is called what ejection so now let us uh, talk about digestion in grass eating animals so here you can see a cow eating grass and we have different organs unlike human beings it has got four chambers in the stomach so we have only one chamber in the stomach but this ruminating animals they have four chambers now here we, we they have the food pipe this again known as what esophagus then the first chamber it is rumen and they have several other chambers we did it we they also have cecum so the stomach they have got four chambers in the stomach so now let's see how the food is digested in ruminating animals so here is a flow chart how the food moves inside the alimentary canal of cow so the food enters through the mouth here then it enters into the first chamber which is known as rumen and in the rumen the food is uh, being turned or converted into curd and that curd is taken back into the mouth for chewing so it goes back into the mouth for chewing and once it is chewed and that process is called rumination or chewing the curd so that uh, after it is being chewed it is again sent to reticulum from reticulum it comes to omasum where the food is grinded further and then it comes into the abomasum now this part is actually the true stomach now the function of uh, the role that is played by the human stomach now that function is played in the abomasum so we can say this is the true stomach for the cow so here action of gastric juices and enzymes uh, is done on the food to uh, digest the food so once the food is digested it is now sent to duodenum where it is absorbed and the undigested food is then passed into the large intestine then we have 
this is another flow chart where you can understand the sequence of the different processes so on feeding the food gets stored in the rumen then it is converted into curd the food which mainly contains cellulose gets partially digested in the rumen as curd the curd returns to the mouth in the form of small lumps and then the curd is thoroughly chewed in the mouth this process is called rumination so this is the entire summary of the how the grass is first eaten up then swallowed and taken into rumen and from rumen uh, in the rumen it is first converted into curd and once it is converted into curd it is brought back to the mouth in the form of small lumps and where uh, then it is being chewed thoroughly once again and this process is called what rumination and hence these animals are known as what ruminants now rumen it is a sac like structure pres present between the food pipe and the small intestine in grass eating animals like cows and buffaloes at first the animals do not chew their food and instead they swallow it this partially digested food <coughs> is stored in the rumen now what is curd we have just discussed the partly digested food present in the rumen is called curd and this curd is brought back into the mouth for further chewing so the curd returns to the mouth in these animals and then they chew it this is called rumination so ruminants what are ruminants now the animals that swallow their food at first and then chew it later on are called ruminants because they under they do the process of what rumination so they carry out the process of rumination and hence they are known as what ruminants so this is all about the digestion in ruminating animals so uh, with this we complete the revision of chapter 2 i suggest you to read the last part that is the amoeba which is a very small part so you can finish it yourself so next class we'll start the revision of chapter 3 so that's all for today's class my dear student thank you very much